What is up guys? Welcome back and welcome in. I'm Smash and today we're back at it again with another episode of Sky Bees 2. So in the last episode we went through a little bit of the quest line to industrial foregoing to get a hold of our mob cr mob crusher and in order to make uh, a wither killer and so today I am happy to announce we have our 18 nether stars and we will never have to spawn a wither again. Look at that. End of the, end of the lapis episode, we, we made it. And beginning of this episode, we'll never use it again. Wouldn't you know it. Now, the wither rose, I would love to say that I know how I got it. Other than the fact that I failed to kill the wither. Uh, so... I guess my stupidity of making this and failing is the reason that I got the Wither Rose. So, yeah. I suppose that's not the greatest answer in the world, but that's how I got it. Um, we got five of them because I failed to kill five Withers. So, um, I'm sure that there's a, another way of getting it. So maybe we can look at that and figure out how how we uh, end up getting it. But as far as I know, I, I don't. I just don't know, honestly. Um, because it's how I got it. Um, so yeah. Anyways, we need a Wither Bee Nectar Block. Which is two Nether Star Blocks, two Wither Roses, and one bucket of honey. So while that is going... Uh, what I'm going to do is get some Wither Skeleton Shards, as well as some Nether Rack. I'm also going to get the Nether Bee, and the uh, we need to get the Wither Skeleton Bee, so we need Bee Jars. And I need my Bee Box. Alright. Now, uh, one thing that I actually kind of want to try, even though I'm sure it's not fast at all, is this, 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 and then a jar. Boop. And this is an apiary breeder. Um, apiary breeders are not that expensive i made it a few episodes ago but didn't really touch on it you just need a uh, some mystical flowers bee jars and an apiary storage which you get normally so uh one thing the breeder upgrade doesn't look like it speeds anything up and this is the problem that i'm having because this is exceptionally slow but we just for the time's sake, so that I can tell you how long it takes, we're going to wait for it. So, as you do it, this is actually our second B. What happens is it literally just disappears. It scares me every time, or at least the first time. I didn't know where our uh, stuff went. Turns out that it goes directly into the apiary storage. So, um, there you go. Don't fear, it does go in. And it does take quite some time. Uh, one thing I need to look at is, do we actually need uh, Wither Skeleton Skulls? does look like we will need Wither Skeleton Skull Singularity, so we'll keep it uh, going. But here's our Wither Bee. As soon as that one goes in, we'll place our next one down. And that should be uh, working on it. And then once we get some of them... Uh, what we'll do, push you off, push you off, there you go, is uh, as soon as it leaves the nest, the thing, which it just did, I believe, no, it's still in there. Where is it? There it is. So now we should have eight wither honeycombs. Ooh, let me eat this real quick. Never thought about that before. Uh, wither... B makes this 10% chance of getting another star. So, 
It is a little bit rough. Um, but not the end of the world. One thing that I actually don't know of is if we can even, uh, like, get more hearts. I don't think we actually can. Uh, let's, let's look to this. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Cool, so we actually don't care. Um, let's just, once we have a block of this stuff, which we do, we have two blocks of it, then we'll just go over here and add, submit, and put our blocks back, and that should start centrifuging them out. Bam. And there should be like a 10% chance, which really is a 100% chance that we get some more nether stars, which we don't have yet, but oh well. We'll get them soon. All right. So we do have some nether stars now. We got 36 of them. Uh, I have a drawer for them. We'll go ahead and put them in there just so we don't overflow with them eventually. Uh, I think that'll be good to have. So, um, cool. We got our four nether star blocks. We got 36 nether stars. I've also gone ahead and gotten a bunch of grass. We, we made grass over here and then just, uh, you basically just bone meal that, run around. Well, I'll show you real quick, just to kind of show you, because we are going to need so met so much grass just to kind of put it into perspective here um, we can kind of do some math together if i want one tier four apiary and i don't i want like 30 of them okay uh, i need four tier threes so i need four tier threes which means 16 tier twos 64 tier ones which means four stacks of tier fours, which means four stacks of tier threes, which means four stacks of tier ones per tier four times eight. I need 32 stacks of grass per tier four apiary. That's a lot. I don't care who you are, right? Um, so we're going to have to figure that out, but um, I did kind of get started here. We have some um, tier one beehives and things like that, so we're working towards it, but uh, I think we're going to use botany pots, but I'm not even going to worry about it right now. We're going to just do something else. What I want to do is get into one of my favorite mod packs, which is Mechanism. I think it's going to open up the way into some... Uh, Kind of other things there's a lot of uh lots of things that you can do in this mod pack you got the smelting factories the ejection factories we can get into um, crushing and all these other things so uh mechanism is fairly important especially with uh the enrichment chamber uh which makes just uh a lot of things uh, namely we're going to be using it to turn um, seeds into pure surface quartz crystals for me so we're going to need it anyways and in order to get into mechanism we need to get steel casings which will unlock it which will need a tier three blood altar in a machine frame that we already have um, so it looks like we need to get into blood magic and i think that that's where the uh, mod pack is about to take us here so in order to get into blood magic, you're going to see that this is not unlocked, these demon wills. If you go up to the start, you're going to need soul snares. So in order to make soul snares, just pretty easy. I'm going to make a few of these. And now, good thing too, because it is actually already nighttime. We're just going to knock out some torches uh, over here. And hopes that something spawns and then I'll run I'll kind of run away a little bit here um, but I think that this should be enough we'll go like this and we'll walk away until we can see something kind of spawning in the distance there's a creeper I don't really like the creeper thing uh 
But I guess... Yeah, let's let's get this zombie over here. Come here, zombie. I really don't like the creeper. Oh man, we got more creepers spawning. So what we do is just kind of... Oops. Throw it, and then... Kill it. And there's our demon will. And we can go ahead and sleep, and all these mobs will die except for the creepers, and then we'll have to kill them. Uh, and our base will go... But, ooh, that's over there, too. All right. Well, we're going to go ahead and kill all these mobs because I believe we only needed one demon wheel. And we'll be right back. All right. So we did get that. Um, had to go replace all the torches and things. I fixed the torches up here where the creeper was and had to rebuild some things. We had one creeper explosion, but that's all we had. Now, uh, this actually looks like it's going to require the starlight uh, factory, which is fine. So we need four... Blocks of redstone, four steel blocks, one bucket, one of those demon wheels, and three city marble. So we have one, two, three, four. Let's see, steel blocks, we have 2k at this point. Yeah, not a problem. Exactly three city marble, and do I have a free bucket? Wouldn't you know what I do? So now... Unfortunately, we'll need a resonating wand. Um, and we're going to have to wait for nightfall. But of course, that is not for you guys to wait for. So we'll see you guys soon. Alright, so we have reached nighttime. We got our craft going. We got a blood altar. And I think that's all we need. So I'm going to sleep. I'm scared of the phantoms. This is actually my first time playing in 1.20. And yeah, every time I sleep, you guys can see all of the times that I face the wither to get those 18 stars over there. But that is a-okay. So let's go ahead. And this is our magic section, if you will. So we'll go ahead and place this guy down right here for now. Um, and this is a blood altar. So blood altars require blood. So what we're going to have to do is immediately go over to the sacrificial knife. <laughs> And let's see, I think I have everything for it. Yeah, I do. Take a resonating one, put it away. We don't need it. And I am just going to just hurt myself like a lot. Don't want to die, but um, there should also be a sigil, I believe. Sears, I think it's, is it Sears? I thought it was yellow. Sears sigil is red. We're going to need the sight reagent. I, I am not quite positive that we're actually going to do any of that, but it's okay. So for the tier two blood altar, we need eight blank runes, uh, which will just need the blank slates. Blank slate is just regular stone. Uh, inside of it. So we will need some way to heal up our health as well um, reasonably quickly. And what I think we're going to do uh, for that is, well, we're going to throw, actually, let me throw some cobblestone double compressed in here like that and some more coal uh that will work because this is like 81 stone per or whatever um that won't work okay either way we do have an osmium bee because next up we're going to be getting into uh, a little bit of some other stuff here so uh, i'm gonna go ahead and put these back in though we have our osmium bee dupe all right we have uh, lead and silver back in there. Uh, we we made our osmium bees because that is like one of the most important things to have for mechanism. And I was just waiting for nighttime, so we'll get into that later. Don't worry about it quite yet. We do need a way to heal up our health though, and for that, what I was um, thinking. is that we would actually get 
this meat feeder, which I'm going to see if I have enough for right now, um, which I think I do. I do, totally. So the meat feeder is like a little syringe that you fill up whenever you're hungry. You gotta fill it up in here, though, I believe. I don't know if I could just, like, right-click it. Yeah, it does look like I can. And I just kind of hold it, and then also I think it goes in a bobble slot. It does. So it'll just automatically kind of keep us fed. Uh, and I think that that's awesome because it'll help us it'll help us heal a lot faster. We're gonna need it a lot for this right here. So um, This is gonna take a little bit of time but Once it's done We should have a Blank slate there we go perfect. So the blank slate it will let us make Hellfire Forges, and Hellfire Forges get let us get into Tartaric Gems and things. This is when we need our Demonic Wills, right? This is when the, the Demon Wills come into play. But all it wants us to make is a Sentient Sword, which is just a petty Tartaric, uh, which really just means that I need to kill uh, two more things for the Demon Will. So it shouldn't be too too difficult here. Um, one thing that we will do is just keep doing this. We need eight blank runes, so it will be a little bit. What I want to try to do, I think, is make this just a little bit automated, um, because we're going to need it. So we have a modular router. I'm going to need a polar, not an owler. I need a polar, and do I have a sender? I do at least have a cinder. All right. Uh, let's figure out how we make a polar module. Mark one. Ooh, need another piston. Okay. Let's just. Okay. Come on. This is our piston wood, I suppose. Okay. There we go. Let's make five, whatever, sure, and just make one polar module and one of these PUL. There we go. Polar module mark two, like a so. And now, I also think I need a chest, but yeah, let's grab a chest. Which should be fine. I think I made a bunch. Yes, I did. Okay. Alright. So, pull. I think I need another one. Alright. So, simply put, we need to have a send stone. Black list. Or white list. We need a send blank slate white list. We need a pull, stone, whitelist. We need a pull, blank slate, whitelist. So the pull, we need to pull stone from the chest, send stone, and then pull blank slate and send blank slate. So we need to pull stone from the chest. We need to send it to here. We need to pull it from a blank slate from here and send it to here. Boom. Now I should be able to click this and once my dagger you can see our meat feeder is working pretty well. Uh, once this thing has a blank slate on it. It should be just pulling it. I think. We're going to see. And I'm going to just kind of fill this thing up here. Oops. Don't do that. You guys got to we have to pay attention. Um one thing we need to do actually cuz I'm noticing what's happening here is I need a counter module so sending 
the stone needs the the counter one. Uh, oh man, it's over here. There it is. It's called a regulator augment. So we need to make that. All right, there we go. So regulator augment, pretty easy to make. Just a couple comparators and that easy, easy, easy enough. Now, uh, this I need to. I believe if I just go like this, put this in here, and then type 1, that it should work fairly simply. Now let's test it. Let's go ahead and put like a whole stack in here. And if I do it, I should be seeing that I only have one stone, and I am. Again, make yourself not die. And then why are we not pulling it? Pull blank slate. Because there is nowhere to pull it to because the buffer is full. Okay. So we're going to need a second modular router for this. There we go. So I just set up a blank uh, modular. So both the things, it's pulling blank slate from the altar, sending it to the chest. And this one is pulling it from the chest, sending it into the altar. So now we have a buffer of stone and a buffer of blank slates. Now this is something we can use uh, multiple times over because when we go to make the other slates, uh, we'll be able to actually just whitelist different types of items into it and it will be able to insert and pull um, just the same way. So let's go ahead and get five, six. We need just a couple more. I'm going to make sure this is actually filled up. Uh, our liquid meat is doing reasonably well here, uh, which I guess is a cool thing. Uh, there should be seven. Yeah, let's look at our liquid meat. So liquid meat is we're at 84,000. So we're doing pretty well. Um, and there is, should be eight here shortly. There it is. Doop. And cool. So now I should be able to make eight blank runes. And it looks like in order to do that, I'm going to need a weak blood orb. Which I know off the top of my head is just a uh, diamond. Let's make sure that it has not changed the recipe. Dink. Yeah, it's a diamond 2000 LP and a weak blood orb. Um, so in order to do this, we're actually just going to rip out the cinder module because we want it to work. There we go. And I will just click it and hopefully it will not drain my whole world before it works. All right, there we go. It actually didn't take uh, very long at all. And pretty quickly, we'll go ahead and put our cinder module back in here. We're going to want a bunch of these blank slates. Uh, now, the cool thing about these blood orbs is you actually don't need that many of them in order for it to work. So um, now that we have this, we should be able to just go ahead and craft up. Uh, do I have no more, no more stone, right? I do. I totally have more stone. Uh, there we go. Eight of them. Perfect. Now, we have a little bit of a weird predicament here because we actually need to move this whole kind of system up uh, by one for now. And I know for a fact it's going to be more in the future. So maybe we should just start it that way. So a tier three. Uh, we'll need... Let me go get my book so we can kind of mark it down. Alright, so it does look like the tier 3 is just uh, one more block down. So if we set this on the third block, I think we should be okay. Um, so we're just going to kind of go like this. And this should be okay. Because we actually only need to make the third one uh, at least for today, I believe. Um, now I need to go ahead and sacrificial dagger a whole lot of stuff here. Oops. 
need that. And the first thing I'm actually going to do is grab my weak blood orb. Boop. And transform it into the apprentice blood orb, which will take 5,000 LP. Uh, which should be enough right here. And while we're doing that, we're also going to set up our modular rooters here. Um, how can I see what we have in this? We have... Okay, yeah, this is our stone side, and this one will be our other one side. So we'll see if that works, or if I have to reset the modules or whatnot, but there we go. You should be able to just... Grab this and see. I think I do have to reset them. So we need to pull from here, send to here. I'll put this back, but we need to wait until this is working. And then I grab my send blank slate. So we need to pull from there. We need to send to here. Doop, doop. All right. So once that works, what do we need? We need 20 more blank runes and four glowstone. Four glowstone should be pretty cake uh, for us. And yeah, this is taking a very, very long time. So one thing we can do is speed this up with like a uh, different rune. So we have runes, speed runes, we have sacrifice runes, which makes it so that every time the dagger hits, it's actually putting more life essence in there. Or, I think it's called life essence. And then you have your uh, rune of capacity, which is also pretty smart. We need our imbued slates at that time, so we will need some... A tier 3 in order to get the rune of capacity, but that is totally fine i think all right oh and this is incorrect which is totally why i'm messing up we need a redstone block in order for this thing to work you guys are probably sitting there yelling at me the whole time and to that i say i couldn't hear you so we should be able to just throw this in here it should give us our apprentice blood orb and uh there we go all right, perfect. So we have our Apprentice Blood Orb, and we'll put the Cinder Module back in there. And this will just be pushing uh, this in. One thing I do want to look at is uh, if what we need to make some of these uh, Speed Runes. The Sacrifice Runes require Reinforced Slates, and the Runic Capacity will require Imbued Slates. So we will need some uh, Tier 3 Altars for that. But we can go ahead and get the... Uh, not sure what the displacement room is, but we'll have to look at that. But I'm pretty sure just these things are a little bit different. So, um, yeah, we're just going to get 20 blank slates for starters so we can make the tier three. And then we'll start looking at what runes we want to put into it. All right. So we do have it all kind of set up here. If you want to visualize it and just see if you click visualize, uh, if you look at the top corner here, it says right click a block to anchor the structure. Click on this and it'll say complete. So it'll tell you that you are a tier three blood altar. The other option here is to get a uh, Sears sigil, which uh, requires reinforced slate uh, and arcane ashes, which is actually kind of cool. I would really kind of like to do it. Um, it requires this. You know what? Let's do it real quick. Uh, let's see if I have everything to make it first. I totally need a blank slate from over here. So that's fine. We do that. We got nine. We got plenty. Uh, there we go. There's our alchemy table. I'm going to put it down just kind of like, let's just get rid of this. Uh, for now, and how big are you? Oh, you're big. Okay. Well, I don't know why you... Whatever. What? <laughs> okay. Let's go with this, then. Perfect. Now, uh, in order to use this, we want to 
uh, actually get the site reagent and uh, that requires a divination signature, which requires arcane ashes, which requires this. So we need redstone coal, white dye, and gunpowder. So we need redstone coal bone meal. I should really only need one. Uh, but anyways, and gunpowder. Alright. Now, I don't really know if I need a whole bunch of this stuff. Orb error. Let's just grab this one. That one? Insufficient LP. Blood orb is not found. Huh. I f maybe this I have to have some in the network now let's check it do and put this in here it doesn't hmm okay that's interesting drain 500 LP do I not have 500 LP uh, it says I can just do this. It still says I don't have enough. Alright, well, we're gonna have to give this one a look see up -see. So, it turns out, in order for this to work, uh, you have to do a few things. And I'll demonstrate it on this week one. Um, but we do have our our ashes here. So in order to do it, you see the week up uh, thing. It says current owner smash one through five seven nine. The way I did that, I just went think one time, and it said I owned by it. Now in order to get the five hundred LP uh, for the craft, what you have to have is you don't use the dagger. You're using the actual blood orb to drain the power into your soul network. And, uh, pretty much, your soul network is, uh, like a invisible network of storage for life essence, aka your blood, uh, and this is the magic that ensues blood magic. So, um, there we go. So we have our arcane ashes. Uh, in order to use them, what are we trying to make? Uh, we need a blank slate and a redstone dust. We have a blank slate. I think so. Right? Yes. There. There. Now, I don't know. This might be like a one-time crafting thing. Basically, you put it down uh, here and then this. And it should be making this pretty cool effect. I think it's, it's not a one-time thing. You can see the arcane ashes have a little status bar. And that will just pop up a divination sigil. And then we also need to do that. We need to make... Uh, turn this with glowstone dust into glass. Alright. Glowstone dust. And glass. Do do. Alright. This should... One. Two. Uh, divination sigil... And this and we do still have enough in there we can't see it yet we're making this sears sigil uh right after we make this site reagent we also need a reinforced slate um so here's our site reagent and then i need a reinforced slate what oh i need the polar module get taken out of there there we go and now we can use it uh this dagger of sacrifice i believe what it does I thought I knew what it does. I thought what it did was it uh, automatically drained all the way down to one heart. I guess I was wrong there. Um, uh, daggers, blood altars. I'm not sure. Anyways, we'll figure that out later. We have our reinforced slate, which is another quest done, which is 
cool, I suppose. There's our reinforced light and daggers. So we're moving quite along this mod pack. Now, what I need to do is turn this into a seer sigil with our with our arcane ashes. So we need the sight reagent and the reinforced slate, and this will turn into the seer's sigil. Now the seer's sigil should let us see how much essence is in here. So you can't see it. Let me do this real quick. Now you can. So if you look, uh, current capacity 10,000 out of uh, 5,200. So in order to do this, and, and also you can also see uh, whenever I do my sacrifice dink, and then I can re-click it, now I have 53. So I can see that I'm getting 200 per sacrifice, um, but obviously, I'll, I'll move this over here for this episode. Alright, so I did move myself over to look at the runes, because what we're trying to do with blood magic, our end goal here is to make a steel casing. That requires 20,000 LP, and you can see currently that we can only hold 10,000 LP inside of it. Um, current capacity is 10,000 LP. So, that being said, what we are going to need to do here is get some runes of capacity. Now, there's also augmented capacity. And from what I'm understanding is with our, where are the runes at? The blood altar. So eight total runes. Let me look here. Where is this thing? So we see here runes of capacity. Uh, it's under blood altars and then over here blood runes you can see the rune of capacity which is tw uh 20 percent per rune so uh it'll effectively give us what 2000 per rune and then the augmented capacity is 7.5 percent multiplicative uh where instead of additive so in other words um until you get to say 25,000 or something like that, I don't exactly know the math, then the 7.5% is less than the additive amount. So you want the runes of capacity until you get to a certain point, and then that break point happens where the multiplicative 7.5% is better than the 20%. So there's a big math thing you can do. Uh, the runes of sacrifice here, we can just read up on it, uh, gives me 10%. Right now I'm at 200, so it should be uh, 220, 220. And then you also have the augmented, or what is this? Increases the amount of life essence gained in the blood through means that you use a player's health. Okay. And then this is non-player health entities. So we actually don't want this. Alter, though, through means that take health from non-player entities. Okay, so we want the self-sacrifice one, uh, not the sacrifice one. So this, not that. Good to know. There we go. And then also the speed rune, 20% additive per rune of how fast it goes. And this one, I believe, was like some kind of multiplicative. No. Maybe not. The acceleration room just might not be good. So these are the three that we're after. I think the capacity one is the most important. Um, so we're going to want to get ourselves up to it. So what we're going to do is this just requires buckets, blank runes, which we already have, and some imbued slates, which is tier three. So we're going to have to turn these all into each other. So basically what we want to have happen is... Uh, I'm going to take out this polar module um, because what we want to do is grab our blank slates. Uh, and I just want to leave it in here 
until it becomes an imbued slate. Then we take it out. Uh, so the way that we end up doing that, so this is a reinforced slate. I'm just going to leave it in here uh, until it becomes imbued. The imbued slate is 5,000 LP. And we can see if we have that much. Pretty sure we do. We don't. We only have 4,905, but chances are we're probably fine. Uh, either way, I think one thing I probably want to do, and this is an imbued slate right here, right? Yes. Okay, so now I need to take my polar module like this and actually take that out and put this in just like that. And I don't actually need to fix, I guess I will. Let's fix the cinder module as well and just make it an imbued slate. So now uh, I can go ahead and I can put um, cinder polar. No, we can just put these stone and it will turn into uh, imbued slate before it leaves. All right, guys, so this video is going a little bit long. You can see we are currently sitting at a capacity of 26,000 LP. What I did here was I made eight runes of capacity, which is a little overboard. I made 10 self-sacrifice, 10 speed runes. So this is a little bit overkill. You definitely don't need it, but it is something that I like. So we should now be able to do this. Oh, I died. All right. Well, we're doing it anyways. Luckily, we're not in hardcore. We're not doing anything crazy. And pay attention when you do it next time. Uh, I know I should. All right. So we have 14,000 LP in there. I'm just going to get us up a little bit more while paying attention. Blood magic is not for the sleepy among us that's for sure we should here shortly get a steel casing which is what we've been going through for 40 minutes of this episode or something like that uh but alas it should be done come on boys we're very close right there's no way we're not Drain 20,000 LP. It's draining relatively quickly, too. There it is. Oh my gosh. We got it. And did I get the achievement for it? <gasps> no. All right. So we're going to have to get the blank runes. I guess I didn't hold 20 blank runes in my hand at once. That kind of sucks. I have all the other runes. I clearly have enough. Do I? I just need some blank slates. Okay. I mean, it's not the end of the world, but it'll have to wait for the between the episodes, and then we'll be able to unlock all the uh, things for it. Uh, let's just grab twenty of them. Do I have any uh, blank? I do. All right. Why did I do that? Anyways, guys. Uh, we need to wrap up this episode, so thank you guys so much for watching. If... Whoop, hold on guys, I cannot think. There we go. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please consider subscribing. Uh, click that like button. Leave me a comment. Follow the links down below. Discord, Twitch, all that good stuff. And as always, guys... We'll see you next time. Oh, yeah.